Hey guys, I'm Janet Negation, and today we're going to heaven. Or well, at least the bridge of it. Definitely not going to heaven. We're definitely not going to heaven though, are we? Let's be honest, we're the Dark Elves. <laughs> there's there's no place in heaven for folks like us. But I think we'd be bored. I think we'd be bored if we went to heaven. Yeah, no, I think we want to go to hell, where all the torture and fun is. Mwahaha. Evil laughter. Anyway, we're going to find some Cathayans. Uh, it should be fun. Uh, mostly mostly peasants, but they do have some jade warriors. Uh, and some iron hail gunners. I do love iron hail gunners. Very cool, you know. Let's, uh, let's, let's fight them. Okay. Alright, so it, it literally was this map. I was, I was postulating. Is that the word? Sure, why not? I was postulating that it might be a different one. It's not. It's this one. It is, it is just the river. It is the river crossing one. Yeah, you guys can just, just have that. Eh? Let's go around. Yeah, it would be fine. Good. You guys too. Alright, you, you chase down those horses. Everyone else is charging. Reinforcements are coming, and they're coming fast. They're coming fast. Master Druki! Master Druki! This is a cool army. I'm a fan. I've got witch elves as well. Witch elves? These elves. Uh, maybe slow down though, girls. Slow down. Brilliant. I know, it's not like them to want to slow down, but tough. Nope. Mate. Hey. <laughs> Buddy, what are you doing? Silly goose. Alright, fine, you can peel off. Jeez. Alright, go for them. And. You go for that. Cavalry. Iron Hell Gunners need to go. Alright, everyone, everyone fire up. Alright, gotta do what you gotta do. Oh my god, why do the cavalry keep running into those woods? Just come fight us already, Jesus. What's your problem? Alright. Alright, murderesses. Get stuck in, won't you? Oh, you probably will, won't you? Alright, keep chasing down. Uh, more artillery, please. Uh, yeah, Jay Boris. Oh, those iron hail gunners are gonna have a bad day. At least I hope so. Alright, that's all a bit mad, isn't it? Where are all these folks? Exciting stuff. Uh, do, do, do we have a master in here? Uh, Corsair hand bows. Let's just pull you back a bit, shall we? Uh, Iron Hell Gunners did get absolutely stomped. Okay, you keep chasing them, I suppose. Uh, you're doing well there. Witch Elves doing well. Corsair's doing well. Yeah, Witch Elves. Having a whale of a time, actually. Get them into the back here. I think we're going to be laughing. Uh, alright. No Let's shoot into this, uh, this clump. I reckon. Alright, peasant archers, go again. Uh, you go for those peasant archers, you keep chasing them. Alright, we're down the Jade Warriors. Which elves having a good time? Uh, yep. Big old artillery bombardment there, please. And yeah, which elves are gonna be? Doing a number on all them. Okay, let's get into the rear of these guys. That's gonna help a lot. A lot, a lot. And you're having fun over there, I suppose. Presumably. And we finally got ourselves a murderous premise. About time. Oh, yeah, let's go get the Zion Hill again. If we can. Probably gonna get. Yeah, knocked about a bit. That's okay. Alright, cool says. Keep pushing up the hill. And there we go. There's the army losses. Good. 
All right, we've, uh, we've taken another settlement. Feels good. It's lovely that we get to really make use of our black arts as well. It's nice, because an army that can actually conquer, but has, um, like, reduced upkeep. So it's quite a cheap army to have. I know it can't go inland, it can't do everything, but in this part of the map, like, with this campaign, there's a lot of settlements you can attack or defend, which I think is really fun. Yeah, big fan. Big fan of all the big rivers and stuff. Because actually, there's a thing with, uh, with Warhammer Fantasy. Um, canals are, like, a huge deal for getting around in the Empire. And you just don't really hear about that in this game. You don't see them, there's not a way to travel via them, like, nothing, you know? Um, they're probably a bit big for black arcs, but still, just some something to indicate sort of um, river travel and stuff is, yeah, I really like it. All right. So, Scarecrow Banner, I'll put it on that guy. Just, just in case he wants to dress up. Uh, we got a Sea Serpent Standard as well. It gives Frenzy to a side unit. That could actually be really good on Corsairs or the Witch Elves. Uh, loot one, goodbye. Their meager wealth is mine. There we go. Where next? Ooh, we could actually attack that as well. Ooh, or could we? Lord of the Black Corp. Oh, these, no. No. See, there's canals. Little canal systems. Two little locks. Isn't that cool? Great. I it is. Yeah, beautiful map design. Well. But anyway, I don't think our black arts can sail up there. Um, or down here, I think this might block it. And maybe not. I think we've gone through a crossing somewhere before. Like here, we sailed across. So, yeah, okay, we can. Yeah, we can sail down here. And get to Shilong. That's pretty cool. I like that. And we'll sail further down here as well. Although I'm not sure if this is map. Oh, actually, that's still something, apparently. So, yeah, this this still exists as part of the map. So, we should be able to sail down here. Cool. Like, is this actually the Great Canal, isn't it? They call something like that? Yeah, the Great Canal. Yeah, that is the Great Canal. But, uh, but yeah, as well as Cathay, like, the Empire is big on canals. Lord of the Black Court. I don't think yes. any of them are great, though. They're all right. Yeah, they're pretty good. They'll do. <laughs> God, there's so much rubbish running around our territory. I mean, we will have a uh, another army popping out soon. Okay, we've got more upgrades here. Oh, wow, a lot of upgrades. Okay, let's upgrade that one. And uh, Shakara, Shakara. Action stations. Jeez, calm down. Uh, so yeah, it's only take one turn. Cool. That's what I like to see. Don't really need that upgrade. Got unassigned skill points though. Oh, Drenak leveled up. Okay, let's get a uh, Wolf Archer, I suppose. This guy feels like a bit of a waste. 600 per turn. Not really doing anything. I guess there's not a lot to do over here, I suppose. Um, let's get that. More Black Art Growth. Yeah, it is nice to level it up. Have someone around here who kind of police things. Um, you know, just in case someone decides to stab us in the back. But it's kind of nice, they work as sort of recruitment hub as well. Because it means you can focus on your economy. Of so that's like the really fun thing, you can you can focus on your economy with all of the settlements. Knowing that you don't need to build a bunch of recruitment buildings, because you can just have a black arc present and recruit your armies near whatever black arc you have. Which, um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, and you leveled up too. Uh, so we get a name of power that improves the Lord's army or the Lord. Uh, Lord's army, I think. Let's see what happens. Boop. So, a would-be usurper struggles in vain against your army. As his force falls around him, he stands resolute and delivers a challenge. Fight him face to face like a true warrior. Has he earned that right? Barbstorm. Gives loads of extra ammunition, weapon strength, and range. Or Wrathbringer, which gives character aura effect. What? I thought it was supposed to help the army. That's boring. Alright, let's do this one then. Lord's army can get a bunch of extra missile strength and stuff. I like that. Barbstorm. Shoot them all. For his treachery, this one, this one and his pathetic rabble have forfeited the right to a warrior's death. Shoot everyone. Leave them for the carrion. Let his miserable failure be the downfall of them all. 
the ice. Well done. Well done, buddy. Well done. Proud of you. Murderous Admiral Barb Storm. Black -hearted also, Red I'm enjoying this, uh, this big old halberd. It's fun. It's very, very smart, isn't it? Very sharp dresser. Uh, income from slaves in the local province. Extra control. Sycophantic schemer. Those with darkest, most uh, self-serving ambitions will always find a way to see them through to fruition. Yeah, why not? Let's get hard to hit as well. What? Okay. Uh, not gonna upgrade that. Are we done with this turn dread. now? I think so. I think we finally are. And yeah, yeah. Big whoop. Death and carnage await. Oh, look at me. I'm attacking moon villages. Jerk. Oh, I might have to double back to that, just so we're not going off in two different directions. I can't quite reach that, can I? So close to reaching it, but I can't quite. I can reach this, though, so I guess I have no choice but to deal with this. Uh, and it's mostly going to be Skaven Slaves, isn't it? I don't know the tier of this, but it can't be that high, can it? It's a minor settlement. So, let's attack... Uh, I don't know, Vec Teak, I suppose. Don't cross wires. Okay. Ooh, exploit feuds, whisper here and a murmur there. Smashing these guys to bits over here. Uh, that will wipe out basically our entire army, somehow. I don't really understand how. It's all just Skaven slaves. Well, I guess some clan routes, but I mean, come on. Although I guess there's also a bunch of people who will be using warp lightning. Yeah, three warp block engineers. That's very annoying. Well, warp block masters, isn't it? It's the, uh, you know, warp choices. So that's annoying. Um, honestly, warp lightning is one of the best spells in the game. Just straight up. It is so cost effective. They can spam it all day. And it does considerable damage to infantry, which is all we've really got. So, yeah, this is going to hurt. But nothing else is really going to hurt too much. So, um, let's do it. Yeah, not this map again, huh? And reinforce we came from behind. I do wonder if it's worth just having him here. I can just jump him down there and chase him off. Might be worthwhile. Oh, just look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? It's actually the battle map over here. There's another battle map. I do love how they're sort of all connected. It's a very good idea, because it means you end up with like really interesting backgrounds, you know? Like cool stuff in the back. If it's all in sort of one area. And in fact, I think this strip along here is actually an ambush map as well. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's an ambush map now. But anyway, I enjoy it. Uh, so, you no lot, are we just going to charge you straight in? I guess, right? I'll give the order. I guess. More units be coming down, but yeah, we'll just uh, get in there nice and quickly. Oh, that can take a while. Feel my wrath. Uh, let's run you across. Um, so, we need to kill him. As quick as we can. Do I want to start overcasting? I don't think we need to. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a normal attack. I am gonna throw in the harpies early though. I might want to just go for the night runners actually. Maybe. Yeah, there's warp lightning. Thank God for that. Okay, uh, you lot. Let's just move you up. Yeah, let's go get them. Alright, come on. Time to murder him. Time to murder. Okay, he's gonna get murdered very quickly, but he still might be able to get another spell off. So, what I'm gonna try and do. Doom of Darkness. I'm gonna try and break him as quickly as possible. Yep, so he's doing it. He's doing it. Cheeky little sword. See what I mean? So cost effective. Oh, that might have actually been the other guy. It wasn't though, was it? No, it wasn't. Go get him. Nice. Alright. Yeah, we messed him up. 
Messed him right up. And yeah, let's hit him again. Alright, they're gonna be a little. Okay, yeah, they're, they're coming. So they're gonna be a little longer. No, no, they're here. They're here, alright. Do I wanna try and get up and around? Is that worthwhile or is that gonna take, like, months? Probably gonna take months, isn't it? I don't know, how are you doing? And we're keeping him busy. Like, I don't see this guy really accomplishing much. He might just beat the crap out of us, honestly. I mean, he is a lord. Not really built for dueling things, though. But, uh, I mean, he's a hybrid caster, though. He's a hybrid lord. They're not awful. Nice. Oh my god. Die. Just die. No, don't don't tell her to do that. To destruction. Corsair handbows. Onwards to murder. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. It's all working out. Let's go kill Sniven, shall we? Go on, go kill Sniven. Oh, did we finally get him? Finally. Alright, go get Sniven. This is juicy. No, juicy. <laughs> Not to misheard me. Oh, guys. What are you playing at? Huh? What are you playing at? Alright, shoot to that. Uh, can't use purple sun, sadly. God, that'd be good if I could. Oh wow, they did actually come around this way, huh? Well, Alright then. That's how it's gonna be. I'll charge him. Might as well, eh? Might as well. Ah, there we go. Uh, oh my word, I really want to put it right on top of these guys, but it's gonna hit all our own guys, isn't it? <laughs> Almost certainly. Forward. Run away! Moving out. Oh no! Go straight oh, downhill. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Oh, I had to do 95 kills, 25,000 damage. It's pretty good. You know, nothing to sniff at. Oh my God! Kill this man! He's got some house to look at. He's clan around. He's not slaves yet, apparently. Dark shards. Look here, Felhart. Cold blooded killers. Uh, is it just My you? Follow to chase, and everyone's just like, eh. We'll catch up later. Alright, there we go. We've we got him. And looks like all these guys start a break, too. Dealers in death. Which is useful, because there's actually quite a lot over here. Uh, did you do it? Oh wow, okay, it seems like we beat the crap out of him. Nope, he just walked away. Of course he did. Of course he did. Alright, you go deal with him as well. No, nope, you need to keep chasing, silly. Alright, it's hit again. Advance, Druki! Oh, come on. Keep keep on chasing him. Might as well use the healing potion, honestly. Ah. Come on. Very good hit. I cannot stand this, guys. So annoying. Alright, go on. Do him a murder. No, 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 he ran past you. No, no. Dark Elf, am I right? Alright, keep going. I feel like these guys done pretty well. Yeah, get a few hundred kills. Almost got him. Almost got him. Alright, keep pushing up. Yeah. Many more quarrels finding their way over there. Good. And yeah, I guess we dealt with this guy. Ish. Oh, Howling Warp Gale. Very cheeky. That's how he walked away, isn't it? Of course it is. 
forgotten about that somehow. But uh, actually, do I need to kill him? I might need to kill him. I might actually need to kill him. Because he might be stood outside the gates. I don't want them wandering on. Yeah, I should catch up, don't worry. Alright, it speeds up a bit. Okay. Ah, good. So you push him towards um, other folks. Uh, push him away now. Oh, we're gonna catch him. That will. Quick, get him with the big hand. <laughs> Give this guy a hand. Close victory. All right. Uh, yeah, so that's the guy I actually wanted to kill. He is dead. So, good. Good, good, good. Although these guys might escape. And then create a new boy. And then this is the garrison. And, yeah, all right. There's still stuff to deal with. But we got a banner of murder. That's nice. And we got more slaves, I guess. So yeah, I think this force is just going to be out there and, yeah, something we have to deal with after the fact. Uh, we can exploit some feuds, though. Whisper here and murmur there. Winning is often most satisfying when others don't know you're playing. I think they noticed. It was the crossbow bolts to the face. Keep, keep away. Uh, raid Leger. Maybe. I'll think about it. Oh. All right, just in time. Lord, awaiting command. Uh, yeah, you head to uh, Fu Chao, and we might have to fight some pretty, pretty scary boys. Um, also, we don't have a black arc nearby. Oh no, it's just a minor chap. Okay, that's not so bad. I thought Nakai would be, you know, right there, um, shouting boo. But no, the characters reached their destination following their voyage. Across the sea. Uh, Clan Eshin did get revealed and then they got caught apparently. Good. So I can just auto resolve this now, can't I, to finish them all? Which I might. I've already fought them. And uh, these maps. Uh, oh, actually. Oh, because it's a minor settlement, this one, isn't it? Oh, okay, good. Because the Skaven settlement maps, they're too bloody dark. I can never see what the hell is going on. They're just like all green or all brown. There's no contrast because everything just has that, like, cloud of dust over it, or like that fog, or like whatever. And so it just, it crushes all the contrast to the point where you can't really see roads and things. It's just, it's just a big brown smudge. Um, you know, maybe I'm just old and blind, but like, I don't care. It's just not fun to play. Um, you know, if I, like, I can, I can see what's going on, but it's not, it's not readable at a glance, and that's the issue. Like, it should be bold. Graphics shouldn't be realistic, they should be clear. You can do both. And, sadly, I think the Skaven Settlement's kind of failed. Um, they have so many interesting light, like lighting effects and stuff, yet somehow it falls short. It, it feels like they would be in the perfect position to, to do really well, with, like, fires and, um, like, green, you know, warpstone lighting and stuff, just in different places to, like, highlight different paths and stuff, but it just doesn't feel like it does that. Um, which is a pity, because uh, they do look cool. You know, up close, every every individual aspect of the maps look great. Uh, Alright, let's, let's start doting on a feral manticore, okay? Um, unfortunately, Manny here has been doing so well that I kind of don't want to get rid of him. Uh, why does Loki have some sort of Howling Walk Gale style effect over his face right now? What is this? I have no idea. Is that just what his Kraken helm does? Is it is it just busy lightning Kraken? Huh. It's the Kraken of lightning. I don't know, whatever. Um but anyway, we're gonna we're gonna dote on our feral manticore. They've been doing really well for us. Uh cool. Ah, oh, do I wanna fight it? It's a bit pointless, isn't it? That's good auto result. And no one died, we're fine. But, you know. I wasn't going to fight it, and I thought I'd carry on not fighting it. And so I didn't. Uh, gems. I like gems. So they are still alive, sadly. This one chap escaped. 
He's not gonna last long. No! Blame you, you! Next time! Look here, we get Master of the Blessed Dread. He cause he is. He is that. Aboard and uh Jeshia Gordoth can get Can't his blessing, maybe? Earthing? Scouting? Let's get scouting. Let's get more more booty. Cool. Alright, that'll do. Um Terrible replenishment. We're in an uninhabitable climate in Shinkar. Of course we are. I think well, we've got to get that, don't we? Because, I mean, we've got to. Uh, no, no, terrible. Terrible to have that. I kind of hate it. I find it really annoying when regions have, like, one sort of black sheep <laughs> of the bunch just kind of ruins public order and stuff. Oh, there's some orchards in the Celestial Monastery, huh? I mean, it's definitely going to get taken I next time. Maybe we should move up here to do them a startle. I don't think we need to babysit this. They might attack it, but they don't just attack them, you know. Who cares? Uh, also, this guy seems to have left us, which is nice. Uh, ah. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. We want a slave gate. It's always about always about slaves with these guys. They give us a breath attack, which is fun. Um, let's get a Dark Elf Harbour, Salt Works, let's also upgrade that, just upgrading all the things today. Good. And let's also upgrade this, we can't afford it now, I spent all my money. Yay! No, we do need to do that. So... It really is that, it costs all the money, isn't it? If I had everything cost all the money, it's, it's expensive to do that. Also, what was that? Oh, Black Roads. Yeah, lowers um, the slave cost for dictates, which is nice. I'm probably saying that wrong as well. I know it's like, you know, like to dictate, but I don't think it is a dictate, is it? It's a dictate. I don't know. Something. Certainly something. Uh, do, do, do. More income from ports and more casualties. Because more casualties means more slaves, basically. Uh, although, corsairs can be upgraded. Alright, cheaper corsairs sounds great. Yeah. And that upgrades the speed of Corsairs as well. Okay, we kind of want all of the things as it happens. It's fine, we'll get all the things eventually. Okay. What's next? We spent basically all our money. The people are but maybe I should zoom through. So we can get over here. Yeah. Um, Slaver's Point. Let's upgrade that one. And now I have 18 pounds. That's right, they use pounds. Shillings? I don't know. What do they use? What's the, what's the currency in, in Nagamoth? I don't think I've ever, ever bothered to find out. Uh, Malakith, I don't know. Um, yeah, not a problem. No Thanks. Thanks for bringing me more slaves. Yeah, I know. Ugh, so annoying. About to experience the hospitality of Karen Carr. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, non aggression fact. Uh, no, I, I don't need any of that. Don't worry about it. Yeah, there's a little met him en route. To other part of the world. Very silly. Um, I can upgrade his black app. Which I think I will. Uh, she's been destroyed. Because what tends to happen, though? Because we're not really doing anything over here. Um, spending the money we get each turn on stuff over here, I think, is the way to go. Because, if I'm conquering stuff over here, and I destroy a settlement, take over a settlement, destroy an army, whatever, I get a load of money, and then I start seeing a bunch of hammers all over the place, I immediately spend all the money over here, then I go to the other side of the world and realize I don't have any money for all the projects that are demanding attention over there. So, you know. So we've got a ruby ring of ruin, which is fun. We'll give that to somebody at some point. Uh, Salomon has been lost. Oh no, all the Dark Elves have been displaced. Oh, so sad. And now I have to enslave them all for failing me. <laughs> Being evil is very liberating, isn't it? It's just very, very simple. Just like, oh, we have a we have a challenge. You know, in our in our organization, there's a there's a, a great hurdle that requires diplomacy and and expediency. Enslave everyone. Oh, okay. That was your answer to to everything. That was I was gonna host a talent show, and you and when I asked you what you were gonna perform, you just you just said enslave everyone. 
you know, it's your answer to everything, Loki. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> he's also a hell of a tap dancer. Battle is a blood-soaked affair. Limbs severed, bones exposed, men left for dead in the cross-soaked fields amongst scores of fallen friends and enemies. Strong weapons forged with time, sweat, and expertise mark the difference between victory and defeat. A good sword cuts clean through bones, severing heads and limbs where lesser weapons will merely maim. As instability grows across the world, so too does man's bloodlust and his desire for war and carnage on an ever grander scale. Base weapon damage got up, plus 20 for all armies of all factions. Huzzah. So everyone hits like drugs now. Quite small trucks, but still like trucks. Alright, we're going to need some more recruitment. Because um, there aren't enough Corsairs in this army, quite frankly. Not nearly enough. Uh, Alright, you can merge so we get some more Corsairs. Although, we get some like Scorch Rider chariots or something as well. That could be quite fun. Swift and untouchable to their foes, Scourge Runners can unleash a bombardment of powerful harpoons that can pierce even the toughest of hides. Um, quite fun for something, you know, sort of on the hunt. Yeah, it gives us something in the vein of um, cavalry. We filled up our army. I thought we had an extra slot. My bad. Now we do, right? Good. Good. There we go. We'd also like some blood rag producers, ideally, but no, this is nice. Couple of chariots, got some more Corsairs. Yeah. I'm happy. You happy? I'm happy. Um, none of the cool ones are available. That's fine, I guess. And now I can't jetbreak this, can't I? Well, maybe I should have done that one. Nope, couldn't afford it. Perfect. Bring me wire. Perfect. Is that everything? No. No, we need to move you. Alright, go chase this lizard back into warmer climates. What are you doing here? Get out of it. Rallican. Gonna have a Rallican good time. Murdering you. Uh, Alright, inside the survivors. You know the drill by now, guys. You know the drill. Uh, channeling feels a bit pointless. Alright, I guess we'll attack uh, lead your next turn. Uh, not a bad garrison here, though, right? Yeah, garrisons aren't terrible. Favorite not great, though. I was thinking they're a bit better. For uh, old Nakai. Because, you know, he doesn't actually get to control these. Ring of darkness. Billowing black smoke emerges from the opal set into this ring, obscuring the wearer's position. That's really cool. I really like that. I think that's really interesting. Just like a smoke grenade ring. That's really cool. I need to remember this item um, for when I'm... Uh, Sort of next running a uh, uh, Warhammer Fantasy roleplay campaign because I would love my party to come across something like this. I think that'd be really exciting. It's just like a, a sort of a get out of jail free um, item, something they can sort of you know rely on to get out of a bind. I think it'd be quite fun. Hmm. Anyway, uh, right, let's have a look. Shakara, Shakara, Shakara. Choose a name of power that improves the Lord's own combat skills or improves the army, or influences the province or faction. Now that's a tough one, actually. That's a tough one, because that could just suck, um, or be quite good, I don't know. I think we go for the army. That always seems to work out quite well. Her own combat skills might be quite fun to make a car of a, you know, a bit of a bit of a fighter, she's even a dragon, but then again, I guess she's going to be quite good regardless. Uh, and there's items we can give her, they'd be very powerful. Let's let's gamble on the uh, aristocratic name of power. So some family names are best forgotten, others are worthy of resurrection, as they engender fear and respect among the masses. Right, let's see what we got. So, one of your commanders, racked by uncertainty, consults a renowned sorceress to appear into the future. For her skills, she demands more and more of them bordering on extortion. This attempted blackmail naturally leads to her death, but not before she can utter a curse. The sorceress is consumed by a flash of baleful purple light, leaving behind a faintly glowing gemstone. Gem throbs with power. How is it to be used? Uh, Emerald Eye gives us better industry in line of sight, and this one immune to attrition. Well, these are both boring. Um, 
Yeah, they both kind of suck, honestly. I'm not keen on either. Um, path guard, maybe. Can I go path guard? Just carry it along. Stone clearly has magical properties, so it should be kept close at all times. Wrap it in the finest of spider silk and carry it along. You never know when it might be needed. Sure. Fine, I guess. I mean, attrition can be a pain uh, if you're ending up fighting no, loads of chaos or something. Uh, we're just being at sea, you know, in storms and stuff. Could be handy. We'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, anything else you can do? I yes, this is our territory. Ruin. Though it might be worth getting something a bit more interesting, right? Can we get some regiments around? Because we have a lot of dread speeds. So, yeah, let's, um, let's get the Raven Heralds. Just so we've got some more, uh, more variety, you know? Fleet. I can have a bit of variety. We're making a lot of money all of a sudden, I've noticed. An awful lot of money. So that's good. Ah, she's finally done it. Okay, good. We're going to kill her. And, uh, quick, I'm going to come on. Did it. <laughs> so, having fun. Uh, I, I don't know if I can be bothered to fight her, honestly. I think we kind of got to, though, right? She has been giving us the runaround for a long time. Um, it's going to be a pretty straightforward fight, though. It is just, like, a front line and some archers. It's um, not particularly exciting. No, she is a, she is a dragon lady. You know? Um, the dragon lady and the kraken lady. Let's cool the whole thing off. Yeah, let's, let's fight it. Okay. So. Job done. Go get it, boys. Strategy. Alright, go, go jump them. Uh, and you. You guys get stuck in. Yeah, you get stuck in too. I do need uh, a dragon. That's what I need. I could already do with one. I could already do with a, with a dragon, actually. Alright, alright. Uh, a bit of damage over here. This is still good, still good. Cold-blooded killers. Alright, stop blasting. Alright, chase him down. Uh, so I've got drone chariots have already taken a bunch of damage. Shocking amount, actually. A lot flimsier than I remember. You know what it is? I probably have in mind. Um, you know, I'm fairly holistic when it comes to you know the performance of, uh, of my units. You know, I don't. Uh, I tend to get bogged down by the numbers much. But uh, yeah, just chariots. I always think of um, the the uh, what are they bloody called? You know, the cold one chariots. Which, obviously, this just isn't the case, you know. These are the rubbish ones. I still thought they'd be a little bit more resilient than that, though. I and mean, they are a large arranged unit, but not exclusively. Uh, oh, wow, you're really, uh, really struggling in here. So, yeah, just make everyone regret bothering you. Nice. Perfect. Well, okay, maybe not perfect. <laughs> perfect enough. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see where you land. Corsair hand bows. All right, whatever. Hit them. Eager for battle. Battle ready. Right, where are you? Right, you can you can run up here too. Druki. Pretty sure he just shouted, Santa Slay! Because he loves Christmas. He loves Christmas. Ready. Yeah, you got out of that bind pretty well, didn't you? Sure did. Uh, right, Dragon Lady. I'm having a spirit, okay? I'm, I'm leeching it. Ooh, Feral Manticore, buddy. Booby. Uh, 
Yeah, he's running away. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, how you not doing? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. There we go. That's the army losses. Uh, good. Good. We've taken it. It is ours. It's all ours. What on earth? I think those are effects that are applying to our harpies down there. I think um, the coordinates might be a little off. Much like this house. This house far too high up. Should be down here on the ground. People can't live up there. It's ridiculous. Imagine, imagine carrying your shopping up here. It's unbelievable. It's ridiculous. Absurd. Yeah, they definitely got that wrong. Yeah, literally unplayable. <laughs> Not fantastical. Just, just put that down to a mistake. They haven't thought about the shopping. Okay, got a bit of money. I like a bit of money. A bit of money's good. Uh, loot, look fine. Won't get me a lot of slaves. We are, we are, you know, got pretty high capacity, right? Take everything. So we might as well. And, yeah, more gems sound good. And Loki okay, can go to the uh, Jade Wind Mountain in a second as well. Uh, Shikara is going to keep pushing south through the jungles. Love a bit of jungle. Also love this. I feel like this is something I should fight, because maybe we get to fight dinosaurs, you know. But also, they have, I mean, they have some ranged with javelins, but not really. Um, I don't think they're going to be much of a competition for all our repeater crossbows. They're just going to melt these guys. So, you know, as, as fun as it would be, I think we'll wait for a proper fight against some lizards. You know, wait for Nakai to turn up or something. There we go. Alright, so we've got that temple. We've got Shibu here as well. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? This sort of implies like a whole city up the mountain. Which is really cool. I really love that. I just wonder how much this is just like everyone lives up there, or if it's um, more a case of uh, Oh no no, this is just this is just the dragon's house. No, you you will live down there. Because there's always a bit of that, but that could be the dragon's house. Who knows? Pigeon plug pendant. Ah, uh, the wearer of this bizarre pendant is supernaturally protected against attacks from flying creatures. How does it know? Also, we just got Maelstrom. Cool. We have a black dragon now. We got a dragon. Yeah. This terrifying black dragon, Velhart's favourite mount, belches noxious fumes in place of fire as it carries the Kraken Lord to battle. And uh, we also have a dark pegasus for Gordoth. Nice. I like that. Uh, and, oh, we didn't raid that. My bad. It's a shame. We missed out like 1,600 quid there. All because of my ruddy memory. Grrr. Uh, Ravager rewards. Yep, Corsair's faster. And stronger. Taller? <laughs> Harder, faster, stronger. Those are the ones. Not taller. Taller. Smarter. Larder. Kindle the Fury. Living flesh is the crucible in which the spark of violence grows to a roaring, unquenchable flame. Uh, so Kindle the Fury is going to be plus 8 melee attack for um, allies in range, as well as 8% base weapon damage. Not bad. Not bad. Nope. To and uh, Gordoth. I think we were scouting maxed out on all the magic items. It is time. All of them. All of them. Oh, speaking of which, yes, we want the enormous one. Uh, and do I want that? Or do I want to upgrade Janshi? I think I'll upgrade Janshi. Cool. Alright, uh, you know what? I'm an idiot. You move first. You move, then build. Because for some reason, you don't know how to do both. So, Shangwu and Baleful Hills. I mean, this is all coastal stuff too. We can sail all the way to Hanyu Port as well. So that's pretty cool. God, I love how much you can travel via these areas. It, I was really worried Cathay would be so boring when they added it, you know? I just thought it'd be a, just a big chunk of territory. But the amount of obstacles, the amount of terrain that aids you through it or blocks your way, it, it's really interesting. They did a really great job making it feel, um, yeah, making it feel unique and interesting. Uh, which, I mean, 
brief interlude. They weren't good at speak a big, boring expanse, but then the Empire isn't particularly interesting, is it? You know, that's not particularly exciting. Um, I mean, yeah, there's some rivers, but generally it doesn't matter because you just naturally go from one settlement to the next. You never really have to, like, cross the river. Um, so it doesn't really matter. It just sort of cuts the, the area up into separate theatres where you just focus on one theatre at a time. This one, it feels like things can come at you from a million different directions, but it's always a slightly unique solution. To sort of corner them, which I like. Big fan. Anyway, we found a guy. Uh, he seems to have a dinosaur. Um, which, I mean, I, it's, it surprised me Lord of the to say that much. I'm certainly surprised. Of so he's not about to jump into the sea. Yes. No. He said yes. But no. No, he won't. Uh, I would quite like to get more black art course there. No, this is good. Okay, this is a good idea. It'll be fine. Maybe. This is scary, though. I mean, Mastilodons aren't the greatest things in the world. I think if we focus one at a time, we can probably work that pretty quickly. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. He might not even attack these guys, so who knows. Uh, but Loki, he's got a big dragon, he's got a load of armor piercing, you know. Uh, missile strength on the Scared Runner Chariot is very good for empty large. So, I'm sure we'll be fine. I will be fine. Next episode, I can't, I can't end the next, I can't end this episode yet. I need to level up first. I can't just leave her skill points unpointed, okay? Can't. Can't do it. Also, what the hell can I build? Why can't you build that, really? I'm not going to. No, we need we need a garrison building. But anyway, guys, we're ending the episode here. Finally. I managed it. I managed to do it. I'm clever. So guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.